our Faithlink Spells here at Christian Product Expo, and I have with me Dr. Jim Ingwall-Stead. Perfect. Correct? Excellent. And now this is a book about a road trip, but this is not just any road trip. This is a very interesting road trip. Tell us about it. Yes, well, it all started uh, when I was uh, doing surgery on a patient with a friend, and he said, have you heard about the Haiti uh, trip? And I said, no, I missed Grand Rounds, what's that about? So, well, we had a representative from an international children's organization who wondered if we could go down and look at doing some OBGYN um, clinics down there. I said, well, you know, I've always thought about mission work, and, and, and even way back when I was starting medical school, I decided at some point I would do that. And then um, we got done with the surgery, and uh, I was thinking about it, and I, I said, well, maybe I can plan for it a little bit later. Then, he's, then, he, then I realized he said road trip, not Haiti project. I mean, Haiti, Haiti trip, not Haiti project. So rubbling out of the back of the mind came the, the words road trip from an old college day event. And I thought, what the heck? You know, it's uh, three days, and let's go do it. We're not knowing what we're going to do, why we're going to do it, where we're going, but let's go. So I did. So y'all just went to Haiti? Well, I went. I, and I met three people that I had never met before at the airport. And then we go down there together. And then Haiti's pass fail. You get there and you say, okay, I can't deal with the poverty and the problems overwhelming, so you go home and you don't come back. The other side of it is, the flip side is, you get engrossed in it and you always want to come back and do more, which is what has happened then, so for the next 18 years. So the book is a narrative memoir of some of those experiences trying to portray the gifts that the Haitian people give to us, rather than the things that we do for them. I mean, we do some things with the clean water latrines, etc., medical clinics, but the personal testimonies or giving that they give to us is such more meaningful and um, it, 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 I would try to tell people about it, but you can't. Uh, and so I thought, well, I need to write it down and maybe that will be better and it could be more exposed. And, and here we are. Well, great. Now, if people want to get a copy, they want to learn more about you, where do they go? Well, they can uh, obviously buy the book, number one. Well, how do they buy the book? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, it's on, uh, I think it's on Ingram, and it's on Barnes & Noble, and Amazon. And then um, I have a website that's just recently launched called uh, the letters drjamesauthor.com. Okay. And so there's more information there, and, and I'm a novice at that, so it's, uh, it'll be upgraded and revamped as time goes on. Okay, well, sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Sharon Wellhart, Faithlix Films, Christian Product Expo.